know which from the freedom story. On behalf of the organizing committee, it's my privilege to welcome you to this year Asia Region Anti-Trafficking Conference 2021. This year, we have a lot of programs that plan for you during this week. We are also very excited to welcome you and the speakers that we invited to join us in this conference. This year, we are very really pleased to have Kevin Bells joining us and also Dr. Obo Kata from United Nations Human Rights Council, Artie Kapper from Embod, Matt and Amy Smith from the Forward Fire Rights, Will One from the Hub Project, and many more. This year, we also would like to introduce speed networking to help us facilitate collaborations among all of us. So this year, once again, welcome to ARAP 2021. We are very glad that you are here. It is my privilege to share a brief overview of how to use the Whova app online on your computer as well as your mobile device for you to get the most out of this conference. Well, you can always get to the conference from ericconference.com, our webpage. I've added a link to the conference right here. You can log in right now. This conference app will be available for up to a year after this conference. So you, as you engage and interact with other attendees, you may log back in at any time to either view the content material or to connect with other attendees from during throughout the year. Once you sign in, you'll be brought to your home screen. And this is kind of the main landing page for our conference. If you need to change the time zone to your local time, you can switch back and forth here uh, to change the time in your time zone or the events time zone. So for example, this is Bangkok time zone, but I can also switch to my local event time. This can help you and organize whether or not you were, uh, and find out if you were able to join a session live or if you want to view it later as it'll be recorded and published at a later time. The agenda is where you find all the different sessions. Again, if you don't see a session right away, you can switch to uh, local time uh, or to event time and you can view the uh, agenda as it is organized in Bangkok time. You are right now here at the intro session, how to use this conference app. To view a session, you click view session and you can add it to your agenda. We recommend adding these sessions to your agenda so that you don't miss out something if it's gonna be live. Tonight will be our first webinar. All our webinars will be embedded, which means they will be available to watch directly through the Whova app. You don't need to go anywhere else. If you have questions, you can add questions here uh, to the Whova app directly, and we will be able to facilitate question and answer time during that webinar. As always, you can go back, click show agenda, and you can view the different time zones, the different sessions that we have. Wednesday and Thursday, we have added more interactive workshops. Uh, we felt that based on the feedback, we wanted to add more interaction and uh, between the attendees uh, as, as possible. To do this, we are using uh, general Zoom uh, capabilities and taking more advantage of what Zoom has to offer. Because of that, we recommend that you download the Zoom app to your computer beforehand, and you can do that by going to zoom.us. and you can go to resources at the top and click download Zoom client. I recommend that you have Zoom downloaded ready to go and then you have it available and updated to the latest version. Right now we're on version 5.7.1. These interactive sessions will be uh, available for you to connect with the speaker. You'll be able to listen to the speaker but also directly ask uh, questions and engage with them should you need to. Again, I recommend always signing up for those sessions and adding it to your agenda or liking it. That way that you don't miss out on something. Your main time using the app, you're gonna be hanging out either on the agenda session or in this community tab. Think of this community tab like Facebook. This community tab is your way to interact with everyone in an open manner. You can go down and add a topic if you want, adding a topic on the top and create a discussion thread specifically tailored to what your needs are. If you want to do a virtual meetup, you can add your own virtual meetup in this virtual meet sec section. You click select a meet, suggest a meet, select virtual meetup since we're online and click post. Enter in a title and change your virtual meeting to Whova's virtual meet room. That way you don't need your own virtual account to use this feature. 
select a duration, schedule it, and hit submit. It'll show up right here for everyone to see and join. If you have any articles you want to share, please feel free to share any articles here on the article sharing section. Any announcements that we will be giving will come out and organize our announcements and they'll be pinned here for you to see. Ask organizers anything is a way for you to ask us anything. Any questions you may have, we will be able to post answers uh, right here, right away. We've all been seeing these icebreakers. These are a great way to meet some of the attendees and see what uh, people are sharing. This is a great way to interact and to introduce yourself to the attendees. If you want to find an attendee specifically, you can search name, affiliation, or location. For example, if I search Chabdai, I can view all the members of staff from the Chabdai Coalition in Cambodia who are joining. If you want to take someone and mark them for later, you can click bookmark. A bookmark attendees will show up here in the bookmark session. And as you meet and bookmark people, you'll be able to go back and view their information. That's the main overview with how to use the online conference. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to share and ask any questions in the Ask Organizer Anything, or you can send me a message. I'm available. Most of the time.